So today I'm going to be doing my unscripted video, but it's also going to be a unboxing video and a reaction video. So technically it's two in one today. This is because, for one, I recently found out that they do have a new trailer for Hathaway, which I didn't know. I think this one's dubbed, but I could be wrong. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Because I'll get to that eventually anyways in this video. But this right here is what matters. This actually came in today whenever I was at work. And when I got home, it was on the front door. Luckily no one snatched it. But I can't say I'll have that luck forever. Especially where I live. <laughs> anyways. Let's get into it. Now, these shouldn't be too big, but obviously it's going to be something that uh, has to do with uh, modeling and stuff. So, that's why I'm opening it and on camera. Now, if it was something that I think would matter, I wouldn't do a video for it. But, this matters. I don't know if that's the only, yeah, it looks like it's the only thing I've done here. I bought several things from Amazon that are like modeling supplies that I just didn't have because at the time I wasn't as into it as I, as I am now and I just didn't think it was that necessary to have any of this stuff. But the more I've become deeper into modeling, the more I realize this stuff is like not necessary, but it's very helpful. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. It's just some small, like, boards, like cutting boards where you put your models on and you can clean these off pretty easily. You get paint on them that comes off pretty fast. Uh, these are really cheap ones and they're not too big. As you can tell, they're pretty small. But that's actually pretty good for me because my modeling station's over there. And I really only have two stations that I use for filming. I have this one, which is the main setup with the camera and the laptop with some model stuff over here, but you don't really see it at, at the moment. And then over here I have the main station, which is where I, I like to build and film typically unboxing videos. But I still have all my Freedom Gundams over there, and I still haven't done anything with them. I haven't filmed their reviews yet, so I gotta get that done before I'll be able to use that station again. So probably expect a couple of um, reviews pretty quickly in the next few weeks, you know, to get them out of the way. Uh, at least with the regular, normal grades. The perfect grade might be a uh, like special milestone video or something, so I'll keep them up here. I'll just have to move them, but I'll get the other ones out of the way faster. But yeah, just. Two of these, I think that was like nine bucks for both of them. You know, they're not great. They're not bad. They're just basic standard stuff to get me, you know, started in that direction. And, you know, becoming a more serious modeler. And doing other types of kits as well. Eventually I'll probably start doing like, you know, more cars. Maybe an air, uh, aircraft uh, probably won't do tanks. Um, even though I'm a huge fan of like military hardware, uh, like battleships and tanks, they're cool. But battleships, the models are really big. Like I have some models of ships from Gundam that are really small, which is one of the reasons why I got them. But there are some real life battleships that when you shrink them down to even the same scale as these over here which is 117 uh, 1700 I think scale 1700 scale is like it's small but if you just take some of the other battleship models that are like 2500 scale and you see how big they still are at that scale and then you scale it up to 1700 it would be massive because even that 2500 some of those kits are still like four foot long that's like bigger than my freaking bed you know it's 
Like, I have nowhere to put that. So, in the meantime, where I'm at, I'll probably never get into battleships, sadly. Tanks, on the other hand, are cool, but if I'm going to build something that is, like, for ground use, I'd probably build a car. And if I want something that's more sci-fi, I want to build Gundam, you know, so I don't need to build a sci-fi tank or anything, you know. Might do sci-fi cars, like Kit or Blade Runner or something like that, but more than likely I'm just going to do normal cars because that's kind of the fun of building car kits, at least in my opinion. Making them as realistic as possible and you don't really do too much of the sci-fi stuff with car modeling, but you can if you want. It's up to you. The point is that, you know, I'm trying to get more into it. So I'm going to have more uh, unboxing videos in the future for everything that's coming in. But a lot of the stuff from Amazon is probably going to be coming in as individual packages, so it's not going to be as exciting, which is the reason why I decided to do it in this reaction video. Um, so, yeah. Just a couple boards for when I decide to start building and have my station available over there. But that'll take a little bit of time. Anyways, and I also have another video that I've, I've recorded, but I haven't started its editing yet. So that's going to be another project, which is actually a, a video about the top five most overused Gundam suits for Gundam kits, at least in my opinion and from what I can find. Jesus Christ, that... Let's just say I, I, I stopped one of my ideas early on. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I, I, no, I'm not getting into that right now, but... Yeah, that's... That's technically been recorded, I just haven't finished the video yet. So, yeah, you have that on the way as well, but I don't know when that's going to come out. Especially now that i got to start cleaning up that section over there, because I'm starting to get my supplies in. Anyways, and I have a very small room, as you can probably tell. Like, this is a really tiny apartment, and it's just not going to have the space for the kind of stuff that I like to do. So i got to try and make it work for me, and, you know, cutting out battleships and tanks has significantly increased my space. But trying to do cars and aircraft is definitely going to take some. But I probably won't keep them. I probably won't keep too many, um... Especially aircraft ones, because, like, I, first of all, I'm probably not going to do very good. Secondly, even if I do, it would have to be significant. It would have to be, like, one of my favorite uh, jets or, like, World War II fighter planes or something for me to keep it. Uh, but for the most part, I'm probably just going to, like, sell them off or whatever. And I'll probably do the same thing for a lot of cars, but I don't know. I'll probably keep more of my car models, because I do love cars. Um... But anyways, that's the unboxing section of this video. So now we're going to get into the reaction. So one second, let me pull it up and let's get to it. So, about to get into it. Now before you ask, no, I didn't do a reaction to the first Hathaway's trailer. Mostly because I didn't think about it at the time. I never thought I would try and do a reaction style on my channel. But whenever that Papa Roach video came out, I just had to get my opinion out there, and it's the only video so far I have that's over a uh, that's that's actually in the triple digits when it comes to video uh, views. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. It would have been better if you guys also liked and you know subscribed, <laughs> but it, that's fine. I mean, if you don't like it, you didn't like it, I guess. But hey, you know. I can always keep trying and see if I can get more people to subscribe and like my videos. But anyways, I didn't do it at the time, but I can't really go back and react to it now because I've already seen it. But I haven't seen the second one, and hopefully my internet will work better this time. So, uh, let's see if I can actually watch this damn trailer. I'm actually going to have to shrink this down a little. I figured I'd, I'd do it this way just because it looks, I think it looks better to have what I'm reacting to be the majority of the screen and then me being smaller because I'm not as important in my opinion. Anyways, here it is. So let's see how it goes. I just, 
hope it works better than it did last time I tried to do a reaction video. It's one of the reasons why I haven't done one in a while, and I've been doing mostly rants and stuff for my unscripted videos, because they just, these videos don't always work out too well for me because of internet and stuff. So let's see how it works this time. Quest? Please don't tell me. Okay, well I just saw her so I know it is. Oh my god. Really? You have to bring her back? Come on Bandai. Of all the characters. Of all the characters you're going to show again, it's Quest. Really? I guess we all just can't get enough of Quest. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that song's pretty kick ass. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. No, don't do that. Well, that was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie, but the problem is that I have experience with a lot of these shows, especially the newer ones that have come out since I've become a fan, is that unlike when you're first watching the franchise, you don't always know which suits go to which show. But that kind of wears off once you've watched everything and the way Bandai releases stuff they'll like announce a new show and then sometimes a year or six months or sometimes two years in advance of the show even coming out the main suits will already have been revealed to the audience because of model kits so I already know the suits that are going to be in this, at least when it comes to the main suit, or one of the main suits. And you can easily find it. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It kind of destroys a lot of the hype for me, in some ways, because one of the biggest things for a mech show is, like, how do the mechs look and stuff. But mm, I'm not a huge fan of these, of these suits, the Penelope... Stuff like they just kind of look a little mean to me. I'm sorry they do. Um, but hey, this is late Universal Century we're talking about here, or technically the beginnings of that time era. So it's interesting, I guess, in that sense. The story and characters are going to be definitely interesting to me because I love the Universal Century. But I don't really know how it's going to play out at all. I have no idea because I've never read Halfway's Flash, the manga. And that's a, that seems to be a big thing here. But one of the interesting things about it is that they're they're talking about a whole new generation or whatever. I noticed that popped up there in the trailer. And it's like, what do they mean by that? Because if you remember back in like uh, F91, back in 1991, the movie ended with uh, this message that said, this is only the beginning. But they never elaborated on that, and nothing really came of it. Because its sequel became a manga, and that's it. And like I said before in my theory video, I really feel like this is the first few steps to going into the late Universal Century and fleshing that storyline out and finally getting a Crossbone Gundam anime. I really hope 
this comes true. Then again, you never know. It probably won't. But hey, you can always hope, right? Anyways, I don't want to make this too long because i got to edit these two videos together and then upload it. But, you know, that was really interesting. I am excited about that trailer, and I, I'm excited about the show and the movie. Um, and I, just like with anything, even Star Wars, yeah, you may be able to do a good movie, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is being able to watch it and understand what's going on. And Gundam just feels better as a TV show, and technically so does Star Wars, oddly enough. But the problem is, is that this is going to be a movie, I do believe. And that's still pretty cool, but Universal Century being relegated to only movies and OVAs has really hurt its experience. Because this would be so much better as a TV show. So even if we do get Crossbone Gundam anime, it really won't be able to ever live up to the hype. Because it's going to be a movie. At the very best, it might be an OVA. Or the absolute best outcome is that it becomes a movie series, like the Unicorn originally was. And I feel like that's probably the best way to go for Crossbone. But I don't know. I also feel like sometimes Crossbone would be the most benefited by doing a typical TV show style. But at the same time, with modern shows being 13 episodes, might not really suit Gundam's mecha story style. That also would hurt the experience. So, I don't know. I really don't know what would be the best style. Probably the movie series format would be the best. But, I don't know. It's a really iffy field right there. You know, I really, I really don't know about that one. It just, a solitary movie is not going to do it. For Hathaway or Crossbones. So even if this movie is good, you're still going to want to see more of this story. So if they decide to continue Hathaway as like the Hathaway Flash trilogy or something, then that would be awesome. But they haven't said anything about that. And I highly doubt that that's what they're going to do. You never know, but I highly doubt it. And then of course you have to keep in mind that next year, I believe... Yeah, 2022. Um, uh, Gundam Seed will end up being 20 years old. So are they going to try and continue that series? Because if they do, that'd be awesome. I would love to see another um, multiverse show get another sequel. And this time around, having it be an entire you know TV series would be awesome because the movie first scene was okay but it didn't really do much in explaining anything that was going on. This way they can bring Shin and stuff like that back and they won't be enemies like they were in Destiny. And hopefully it can fix a lot of Destiny's shortfalls for a lot of people. And of course they could just completely reduce Seed if they really wanted to but I don't think they're going to do that. Regardless, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, this is Jokai, and I'm signing out. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video, and comment. If you do just any one of those things, I would greatly appreciate it. I know I'm not just you know I'm not a huge YouTuber or anything. I don't have any kind of star power, but I might get there eventually if you know you do one of those things. You know, that stuff really helps out my channel and helps me grow as a, as a YouTube content creator. So, appreciate it, and I'll see you later. Real fast, I forgot to mention, but if you want to check out the trailer, I will have the link in the description. So, if you want to go down below, you can go ahead and select that. And uh, this is my slight update to this video. I'll see you guys next time.